I was driving over there, Sal, no one would pick up the phone. I must have thrown 70 numbers out there, nothing. And then I got to the set of lights and I was like, oh, I'm talking to the wrong thing. I'm, I'm trying to call people who can help, who could help you with this? Mm -hmm. And I prayed at a set of lights and I heard very clearly, I have Tom, now go be Seamus's mother. Oh, that is a powerful message. Very. And my spiritual journey even solidified that. Coming this week on Feeling Sisters, Today's episode, I don't have a guest, I have a friend. We have Christine over here. She has so much things to share. It's so important for people to understand this is just life. Mm -hmm. Life is happening to you. Nothing special is happening to you. No matter how horrific mm -hmm. it is, it has happened to somebody else. This is life. You know, it's difficult, um, you know, situations like this in, you know, in, in, in you know, for, to our loved ones, it's never easy. Mm -hmm. But you're here, you're doing amazing, you're in your growth. Tune in to new episodes of Feeling Sisters every Sunday on Eat, Read, Love. Hi, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? Sit down. Sit down. Ooh, 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 ooh. I put the water to the side so it doesn't spill. And then, only for me to knock it over because I put it away. Welcome to my life. How are you? So, hold on. Sorry, guys. Okay, so let's begin. <laughs> okay. Let's begin your reading. Make sure you check the links down there. And also the apps, the secret apps of Sal. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with the Gemini. Let's see what's up. Okay, well, something is stressing you. Nine of Swords. You have a worry right now. Now, normally this comes from overthinking. So, you're overthinking a situation that you have. Can be, of course, there's a lot of things going on. So, that's where you're coming from. Nine of Swords. You worry because you have no control. That's the Nine of Swords. But remember, you have no control of what is outside. You only have control of what's within. Okay. Okay. Some are worried about their work. About their schedule. About their life. The Nine of Swords and Eight of Pentacles, of course, shows someone who cannot focus. A little bit distracted. Um, this can come, you know, uh, a level of uh, frustration. Like there is something every day that you're trying to focus on that is giving you stress. You're trying to focus on work. You're trying to focus on yourself. But you can't. Because of Nine of Swords. So you're having that difficulty of focusing. Now this can also be interruption of sleep. You know, it's like there are things like, loud enough or you forgot to turn off the lights, the windows were open, and it affects you the next day. Now the Eight of Pentacles shows your schedule which means you're trying to be on schedule as much as you'd like but sleep, sleep has become an issue the devil okay so you're thinking deeply about your situation with this person because you want them you have this desire because the devil is here, you feel the connection, but you can also be ignoring. This is also being a, uh, um, a person who's so focused on their coins right now. Not workaholic, but things has to run a specific time, a specific schedule. So that's where the obsession is coming from. And 
since we have no control, your frustration builds up. So you're feeling frustrated. Mm -hmm. And this person that you're dealing with, Three of Swords. So someone is heartbroken. Now, this explains your frustration. If you're thinking that they have someone else, then of course, you're worried. You guys have broken apart because of dishonesty, but this is also being used by a person. Mm -hmm. Temperance, which is good because now the devil is gone. So someone wants to work it out, make things balance between the two of you, but it does require for you to meet them halfway. Okay. So let's see. And for people who are wondering if it's serious because I don't have cookie and I just had breakfast and lunch all together. Okay. So don't expect a gymnast to be flipping doing triple somersault when they had the full breakfast, okay? High Priestess. They want to make this work, but they don't know how. They're just putting their fate in the universe. Just the High Priestess and the Temperance. Now, this person that you're dealing with on this side, do keep some stuff from you. Okay, you see? Okay. They keep some stuff from you. They're not as uh, honest as you would like to um, have anybody. Like, you know, if you, people like to, uh, to be with someone who's honest. Because they're keeping it also as a secret that they want to make it work. Of the full card and the page of swords so you're trying to set yourself free from this uh, connection devil person is closely watching you so they know your every move you also want freedom from your frustration you have a lot of worry there and you don't just want, you just want to forget. You just want to bounce. Knight of Pentacles, the Death card, you have your Scorpio. So, is that the word from the get go? Like from the beginning, like all of a sudden, you just stop. You do not talk to them anymore. You stop any kind of interaction. So you're trying to really break a cycle with someone who you have been in and out with because they know what to tell you and how to speak to you. And that's why you're frustrated also. You feel that you don't want to make the same uh, mistake. You have the Sun and the Ten of Cups, so you want healing and you want, I feel like you want a new lover, the Sun with the Ten of Cups. Or you're in love with someone new and you do not want to get involved with the past, because this is the past. So you're torn and it also frustrates you. The world. And the Four of Pentacles. So the person is holding back.
from reaching out to you because you ended it with them. So they're not going to open up. King of Cups can be a new person. That's a Scorpio. Can do ended it with a Sag or a Pisces. And you have Capricorn, you have Leo. Judgment. They're holding back, but they feel the pressure to reach out to you, to communicate to you. They know that you won't budge. You already have someone that makes you happy. You already have someone that makes you feel good. If it's not, it's just you being able to smile, having a reason to feel alive instead of feeling like death with the other person. Okay? So follow me all the way to the end and extended preview. Link down there in the description box for everything that you need, Gemini. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Bye. Gemini, welcome to my channel. We're doing your dailies. This is 29 of March to 30. I have the chart open until the 30th. Okay, I'm using a diamond spread. Um, this is a spread that I use for Venus. Okay, since uh, Venus is the relationship, uh, we call it, that's the ruler for relationship. So let's see here. So maybe, I'm gonna draw the cards right away. So we get a lot of juicy, goosey. Here we go for my Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Queen of Wands, Three of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, High Priestess, Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Right now, Rahu is in Gemini. Okay. Aspecting your seventh house. It's a party in your seventh house, Gemini. Okay, let's just say it that way. The person that you're dealing with have a lot of conflict. Them. But of course, it ain't, it's not a partnership if they're only the one dealing with it, right? Meaning, you're going to be dealing with their conflict. Understand? Okay. Okay. So I don't know if I should feel bad for you or for them. Okay. So you have to deal with their issue. Whatever. It's not my problem, so it's like, why am I here? It's called your Ahu Ketu. Queen of Wands. Okay. Can we connect with a Leo, of course. I feel that you recently just got a makeover. You had a makeover. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling it, so I'm feeling it. So if it's a song, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Okay, I'm feeling myself. Okay. Feeling good, empowered. Okay. And you just feel like, yeah, this is good. Yeah. That's what the queen wants. You're having an internal conversation about, you know, uh, within you that I'm good. I'm good, you know, I'm good. I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. Three of Cups. Uh -huh. And then you get Nine of Pentacles. I'm confident, I'm confident, I'm confident. Uh -huh. Why are you talking to yourself though? Okay. Because <laughs> <Okay. laughs> oh, it's your eye. Rahu is active in your head. Okay, Rahu in the house. Rahu in the first house, your head is very active and you're just like, all of a sudden I'm talking to myself, hopefully I'm not crazy. You're not yet. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> Doing everything for yourself. Talking to friends. There's going to be interaction with friends. Looking at memories. Someone is trying to reconnect with you. Someone is trying to talk to you about a celebration. There's a celebration gonna happen, and you might need to dress up. Okay, you might need to put on those fancy shoes, fancy dress, fancy suit. I'm not for the guys. And when you get invited to this um, party, if it's a party, uh, I feel like you're gonna be the bell of the ball. I hope you're not the ball of the bell. <laughs> Sorry, I just want to do it. Okay. And then this person talks to you about an accomplishment. Three of Cups shows accomplishment because it's harvest time. Chances are it's going to be nearing um, uh, fall. So November-ish. Okay. So this can go to a November energy. Hey, I have something, you know, and it's in November-ish. And then Free is like, alright, yeah, this is energy. It could have happened already in the past fall. You already have the conversation about happiness. And then you have High Priestess here. I feel someone stole your heart. You have Hugo. 
Because the high priestess doesn't have a heart, it's like a hole. There's a void. Okay. So there's a void right now. Uh -huh. This void that you're feeling, uh -huh. in the high priestess, um, it's about... Uh, I feel like it's about... Where do I belong? Uh -huh. Where do I belong? Society. Uh -huh. What should I do? For people, I'm looking at it in a Pisces perspective because the sun is in Pisces. In your in your ninth house or tenth house, sorry. Uh -huh. So you're asking, where do I belong? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? This is what you're having. What should I do? <laughs> Why do you keep repeating yourself though? <laughs> okay, it's almost like twins of a twins. Because your high priest says you're studying something, you're learning something about you, and you don't know what to do next. Okay. So you're doing the inner work like a mother F. Okay. Like inner work, inner work, inner work, inner work, inner work. Okay. And then the Eight of Pentacles here showing okay, that the person that you're dealing with can be a student and you're a teacher, they're a teacher, you're a student, but there's something, some sort of level. There's a different level between the two of you. This is also rituals. So some can be also very active in their fifth house. In your fifth house is Leo fifth house. Anything active in Leo? Venus and uh, Mercury. Oh, I, no, sorry. Uh, why am I looking at Venus and, and Aquarius? Oh, because seventh house for... Mm, but no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'd rather do... Okay. No, but they're saying that's what you gotta do. Okay, fine. <laughs> so your fifth house is active. Okay. At home, you're gonna be doing some sort of free falls because I'm doing at it from... Fi uh, the fourth house from your fifth house, okay? Which is your home, Venus, and um, uh, mm, there's something creative that you're doing ritualistically. It can be just like a regimen. Oh, you know what? Let me put some night cream. Let's put some nice and on and on. So this is what you're doing with regards to rituals because you have uh, Venus and Mercury there. Um, chants are mantra. You're reciting something because fifth house is house of mantra and this is about mantra of love okay <laughs> now mantra of love there's a lot of that one so you can be doing a venus mantra mercury mantra um you're working with your mercury can be mercury is wednesday so this i'm gonna address my mercury so i can have more fluid communication with the people and because mercury is my okay natural lord as a gemini i will work with my natural lord eight of pentacles Inner work is amazing, Gemini. This is amazing energy. I'm not sure where the person is, but that's why this is a diamond spread. I'm gonna look at the other person's energy here, okay? This is where it's gonna fit, okay? This is your other half. Because in the, in the house of Venus, there's partnership. So I'm gonna look at the energy of the partner, and then we'll see the inner diamond in the extended. Link down there in the description box for everything that you need. Have a wonderful 29 to 30. Bye, Gemini. Well, they're manifesting you to return. So, the person does not want... Two of want... swords, the chariot, and the four of cups. You're trying to make a decision to just really Try reject to it. reconcile. And it or reconcile it.